Hello and welcome to Litecoin BLK Index Dot Date uh, Error Tutorial. My name is Alex Morose, and in this video, you will learn how to fix BLK Index Dot Date Error in Litecoin Wallet. I'm going to go ahead and open the Litecoin software wallet, Litecoin Wallet, and it will just rescanning and um, initializing and then it will crash with the blk index.date error blk index.date file uh, will have some information about previous litecoin transactions of other people uh, throughout the world and somehow it got corrupted so we need to go to uh, c drive users and C drive where your Windows is installed, users, and then inside of the users folder, you need to go to administrator folder, or it can name any other name of the folder. It depends what is your user for your account. It can be John, administrator, and whatever. You need to go ahead and click on the folder options and go to view tab and select the show and hidden files and folders, and you will see the app data folder which was hidden before. Go inside of the app data folder go inside of the roaming folder and inside of the roaming folder find the litecoin folder go inside of the litecoin folder okay litecoin folder will consist some files and all what we need to do just only single file which will be named wallet.date all those other files you can see blk index date and blk0001 date those files are basically um, have some encrypted information about the worldwide transactions of the light coins we don't need them somehow they got corrupted this is why this error during the initializing of the wallet of the light coins you need to copy wallet.date file this is a very important file and uh, this file plays a big role during our restoration I'm going to create a folder in app data I'm going to name it something like Litecoin backup data something like that you need to create this folder and copy this wallet.date file on your USB stick on somewhere safe and I suggest you multiple locations maybe one file on your email as well just put in your email email to yourself in some folder so you will never lose it okay I just copied the file wallet.date and now I'm ready to go and I'm ready to uh, go ahead and do the last part of our tutorial which will be deleting the litecoin folder with all the data just because i copied the important file which is wallet.date and everything else i don't need it's just a trash delete this and then i'm going to go ahead and install the new litecoin wallet that i downloaded the setup file from the litecoin.org so you want to go ahead and download that file and um, go ahead and install it it's a litecoin setup and i'm going to go ahead and click next and just click next and proceed all the procedures and um, i'm going to go ahead and select the c drive and program files just basic locations install it will install this file it will take about one minute and I'm going to click next and um, I will go ahead and run the Litecoin wallet and you will see that Litecoin wallet will be just empty it's not going to be it's going to be completely new brand new wallet and without any transaction without all the data and at this point if my hard drive crashed and you didn't do any backup you lost the data but if your client Litecoin software crashed you're saved and uh, just blk uh, index dot date error is nothing so i'm going to copy from my backup folder wallet dot date file and putting into roaming folder inside of the litecoin folder and just delete this wallet dot date folder i mean file which is just plain brand new litecoin wallet i'm going to delete this file and i'm going to go ahead and um, paste the copied file which is wallet dot date which will include my Litecoin transactions and information about my Litecoins on my account. Keep in mind that this wallet.date file generated by some values of your hard drive time and other values. And it's very important to keep the backup of this file. 
and I suggest you to keep one backup maybe on one of your emails so you're not going to lose it as you can see I just opened the Litecoin software again and it's showing the unconfirmed funds and it's showing some transactions from the right so I recognize this and this is my Litecoin wallet it will take one or three weeks behind so basically some synchronization with the network and you can see right now 7500 out of 438 648 blocks and it will take about two four hours to um, synchronize with the network depends on your connection and then it might will also bring some more uh, funds like over here it's 18 funds so I just for this particular tutorial I transferred six more funds and just because it was synchronizing with the network it didn't show up but it will show up when it will get to that point of the synchronization with the whole Litecoin network and uh, it will bring all the information previous and uh, current information about your Litecoin wallets and Litecoin funds as you can see that green check mark means everything is synchronized and I'm ready to go so I fix my error and backup wallet always do the backup wallet this is um, the rule number one because if my hard drive going to crash I'm going to lose it and if I have like 18 uh, uh, LTC or 200 LTC um, I will lose those funds so pretty much that's it as again my name is Alex Moroz thank you so much for watching please like this video so more people can see it and please subscribe for the next uh, videos and I will see you till the next videos bye